Be the leader you wish you had. Now, this is a conversation I've had with many friends and colleagues over the years, and I'm sure that most of us have said something like this in the past. Hey, our executive leadership team is actually not leading us in the right way. They're not aware of the competition. They're not aware of the current conditions. They're not taking enough risks. They're not empowering and promoting the right kinds of people and so on, right? In short, that is absolutely the case in many organizations. Not all, but in some, I've seen that too. The question really comes down to is, what are you doing about it? How are you changing the culture? How are you leading? Because you always start with yourself. Do what you can do. If you're part of an organization that has 50,000 employees and you're not in the top five, seven, 10 employees, right? You're not part of the executive leadership team. So you may not be able to make changes that will impact and enact progress or change that you believe is desired across the global enterprise, but perhaps you can do it across your team of five or 10 or 50 that you do lead, that you can influence. Because you can be influential as a peer as well. You don't need to be in a leadership position. Leaders are not titles. Yes, we often confuse the two or equate the two, but being in a leadership position alone does not guarantee that someone is a leader, that it acts with leadership capacities, capabilities, and tendencies. It just means that they're in a leadership position, they're in a position of authority. So start with yourself, your colleagues, your peers, your teams, and start making those changes there because they might become the model and a shining light, a North Star, if you will, for other organizations. And therefore, you're making you know, a grassroots sort of change and movement, and you're improving that, and that could get much wider and broader adoption across your organization. So don't always look for excuses and position yourself in light that somebody else has to do something and that you're dependent on their actions at all times. Start with what you can actually do for your team, your colleagues, your office, your floor, your building, and make that change there. Same way in personal life. Make sure that your community, that your neighborhood, that your block, that your street are clean and safe and that people are helping each other. And ultimately might spread a block over and then five and seven. Now the entire community is helping each other. Now it's a part of a town. Now it's half a town. Now it's the entire town or, or, a, or a city. So change rarely comes from the top and becomes widely adapted. Yes, it matters and it has its place in organizational change, leadership, progress, advancement, and growth of a business or an organization. But small, concentrated, powerful, intentional actions can also bring about the changes that you, my, myself, and many others so desperately want and need across many organizations across our country and across the world. So be the leader you wish you had. Don't look for excuses as to why others are not leading. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. And as always, if this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. Have a wonderful day.